It's really rewarding to put in the work and practice every day and then when you go to a really big competition just to see how much you improve and all the progress you make. A really good friend of mine convinced me to do cross country and I stuck with it and during the spring you go to track and I figured, you know, why not? Running the 400 hurdles is very rhythmic. It used to feel sort of smooth, sort of easy in the beginning and then hard at the end, but now it's all starting to feel the same speed. It's really, really awesome going to the Olympic trials, not only you know, representing Harvard, but also with my teammates, just because it's really nice to be able to wear that H. Reaching for the Olympics is definitely my riskiest goal so far. I kind of came to the realization like, whoa, I'm on the road to Rio. Like, I'm, I'm actually trying to, to do this. Taking a step back and kind of looking at what I've been doing and how far I've come, it's happening really fast, but it's a lot of fun and that's what I like about it, you know, discovering new things about myself. Harvard has helped me get to this point because it really fosters this hardworking person that I've become. Everything that I do is not 50% in the classroom, it's you have to give everything 100%. At the track, you definitely have to give 100%. Going to the trials is a great experience for athletes even if they don't hit the Olympic standard just because it's really great competition, really high energy, high caliber, high stakes. We have a pretty competitive U.S. team so just to be able to even compete for a spot on that is such a privilege and an honor. To be able to represent the U.S. at the Olympics would be really special. It would be amazing to wear your country on your chest and represent your country. 